All right, off to subterranean, starting with the gold mine. This level, if you can do it fast, looks really, really good. I'll just say that. We have three worlds left? Yeah. All right, yeah. This level's really hard to do fast, but if you can do it fast, it looks amazing. Kevin, it looks like, has the 1 minute 55 second time record. Uh, we'll play as Treeby. My fave. I love that beginning part. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> yeah, this beginning part, when you play Time Trials, just mash up, and you'll hop across all the minecarts. It's amazing. No! It, it dropped an input and then registered a phantom input. That was great. All right. So thus far, this attempt is going great. Unfortunately, in this part, we have to wait for the stupid rats. No! Doggone it! Sometimes when it drops an input, it is really, really bad. All right, that's great. We might be able to beat the rat cycle here. If we can, that would be just fantastic. Treeby has a purple ton, which is uh, great. All right, come on, come on, come on. Oh yes, we beat the rat cycle. That's beautiful. I mean, we're stuck in this rat cycle, but that's okay. Oh no! There we go. No! Oh. Not optimum. Oh, that's actually that actually set up set us back. Oh no, that set us back a lot. Darn it! Again, this this whole, the game is cycle based. So if you can do things really well, then you can beat a bunch of cycles and save a bunch of. Okay, dropping the inputs is so annoying. It happens way more frequently than I want it to. Nope. Nope. Too glitchy there. Darn you, Treeby. Treeby, I love you, man, but you gotta do a little bit better here. Treeby? Okay. No, it's not Treeby, it's the game that's not registering my inputs. And in a game like Frogger 2, where every input is crucial to making sure you're facing the right way and hopping the right amount of times, that really, really stinks. As long as we beat this rat cycle, though, we're good. That is one of the nice things about it being cycle-based. Because even if we didn't do this optimally, as long as we still make the cycle, then we haven't lost any time. But, of course, we don't make the rat cycle. Oh, we're not making the rat cycle for that. Again, it dropped it dropped so many of my inputs during that hop up towards the minecarts. I was I was just mashing the up button and it was not going at the optimum speed. Uh, no! And once again it dropped my input to go right. I know it's a poor I know it's a poor workman who blames his tools, but like it the game keeps dropping my inputs at crucial moments. Okay, there we go. No quick hop, but that should be alright. Quick hop always wears off before the end of the minecart ride anyways. Alright, come on, beat the rat cycle, yay! Also, fun fact about this music, it's also, this music, the main theme is also used in a Sonic Rush Adventure 2, or Sonic Rush Adventure, for like Haunted Ship Zone, I think is what it is. Alright. Here we go, we should be good, we should be good now. 
No! I was lined up! That's BS! I definitely hit the- well, no, that's unfair. I was lined up perfectly. Screw you. Screw off. <laughs> that was so good. I got robbed. I was lined up! Not exactly straight, but it was lined up enough that I should not have- It was more lined up with that than it was lined up with the one above it. That is so dumb. Okay. I did it once. I can do it again. I swear the hit detection on, like, where you should jump is sometimes broken. Nope. 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 Man, it continually drop. When you're hopping up towards that minecart, it keeps dropping your inputs. That's what Treeby sounds like when he croaks. That's not the button that I pushed. I pushed control, not left. Again, if you're just trying to beat the best time and not like get the best possible time, this wouldn't be hard. But I'm, I'm too much of a perfectionist, man. When I make simple mistakes, I'm like, no, I know I can do better than this. Space Station, I don't know if I could do better if what I did, but like this, no. I know what I'm capable of. I just need to stop being stupid. Doggone it! Okay, the timing on that is tight. That's a tough part, genuinely. I want to see if I can collect zero coins. <laughs> okay, no. That coin I think you pretty much have to collect. I wonder if you play perfectly if you can get in between these two rats. I wouldn't really want to. Okay, gotta line. Gotta wait for that to line up perfectly. No! Arg! That was me. That was on me. Maybe I'll just cut out a lot of these attempts, or at least just show where I fail. I probably should show off the croaks for all of the different frogs, because they do have different croaks. They each make a different sound effect when they croak. That was literally directly to the right! How did I fall in the water for that? That's what I mean when I say the hip detection in this game can be really wonky at times. Really wonky. Then there's the real speedruns. Get to the end while collecting all of the coins and see how fast you can do it. Okay, I'm not even gonna risk it this time. I'm waiting until I'm directly over this. There we go. Good lord. <laughs> Gold mine, there we go. I missed 15 coins. I got kind of, kind of a few. All right, 53 seconds and point thirty on the gold mine. I will take it. Take it to the bank. Oh, look! The game crashed yet again. This game is fantastic. Don't know why the game keeps crashing, but all right. Here we go. Off to the ant's nest. Phil of the future's got a two-minute time limit on this one. Uh, who should we play as for this? We haven't played as a lily frog in a while, and she hasn't been to the ant's nest. Definitely another level where the feeding frenzy comes in handy. Uh -oh. 
Oh no, I missed it. If I was a little bit faster, maybe I could have made the cycle. Hmm. Yeah, this level is tough to speed run. I bet if you time this perfectly, you could just single super hop over them, but that would be very tough to pull off. Why did it... Oh. No, that actually makes perfect sense why that happened. I was actually too fast there. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Inflated Lily Frog looks very weird. Nope, stop getting hit by the ants. Go back to Arthur's pants. I know this is your nest, but still, you're being annoying. No! The animations when you die in this are weird. It's like, oh, did you get hit by a spider? You puff up like Jigglypuff. Because, uh, reasons. No! It is hard. Again, I have no idea. The spiders are on it, basically. <sighs> Inputs being dropped. Uh... Yo, man, the game just keeps eating my inputs. Ooh, oh, that's the key. If I had, if I'd been more deliberate, I could have potentially beaten that ant cycle. That's okay. We're still doing great. No! Doggone you, stupid ants! Doggone you, stupid ants! Alright, let's see if I can be get that one cycle. That would be amazing. Doggone it. Ugh. That's such a tight cycle to make, but it might be possible. Lily, oh my gosh! <laughs> I wish I had that program where it shows what keys I'm tapping at what time, so you can see I'm pressing the keys to move in the right way and the game's just not registering it. Rats. Okay, no, I think that cycle's too tight. That cycle's too tight. Maybe a task can do it, but not me. And I don't want to spend hours on this one level trying to hit a cycle that I don't even know if it's humanly possible to hit or not. Especially when that's basically just as fast. Oh, I actually may have been able to do it. Oh, uh, that's fine. Okay, that was stupid. Arg! It ke I keep getting it one square off. It's driving me nuts, man. Thankfully, if memory serves, the ending of this level is not too bad. Oh, darn it! After you after you reach Purple Frog, the rest of the level is pretty simple. Just gotta not get hit by the weird bugs making the weird noises. Ow! I really should have split this into two videos. Maybe I can't. Maybe I will for the. Maybe I will for the magic of editing. If both of. Ah! Maybe I will with the magic of editing. If if both the space levels and the subterranean levels are long enough to be their own video, I'll split them into two videos. 
No, I did it again! I did it freaking again! There's no leaf up there. Stop trying to double super hop to a non-existent leaf. There we go. We oh my gosh, we got the magic cycle. Is that literally the magic cycle? That seemed like it was the magic cycle. That was the magic cycle! Everything else lined up perfectly after that. Wow. Missed time, we got two coins. Don't care. Don't care. 38 seconds on the ant's nest. Yes. Not that anybody is going to try to beat these times. If they do, I, I welcome you to try for sure. But uh, I wouldn't encourage, I don't think anyone else will be doing that. Time for a lava palaver. This one, will, I'm actually looking forward to this. This is pretty fun to speedrun if memory serves. And there are the not clown faces there. It is a lava geyser. All right, who should we put? You know, Tank would be immune to that, maybe? Not Ruby. Maybe Wart? I think there's Wart a decent amount. Wart, Tank, or Swampy? Let's do, uh, let's play Swampy. He likes the heat. What? I don't think I got hit there. Oh, that's the strat right there. Actually, that's slower. No, that was actually slower than doing the super hop. Yeah, there's a faster way of getting out of that, but whatever. It is what it is. Um, I touched the butt of a slug and Swampy just decided to be cut in half. That makes sense. There we go, we beat the fireball this time. No! It wouldn't let me jump down! What the heck? I was hoping to break the fall twice. Didn't happen. Nope. <laughs> okay, getting for that end part, I forget how to do that quickly, so that'll be fun. Trying to figure that out. <laughs> nope. Swampy's getting his butt burnt big time in this stage. I mean, he's the villain, so we don't feel super bad for him, but... Uh. We're gonna need that. <laughs> Thank- wow, that was really stupid. It dropped an input, and it glitched me for the platform. That was fantastic. I think that was Swampy's croak, in case you were wondering. No, I of course I landed right on the freaking guy who killed. I think that end part there's a faster way of dealing with it, but whatever. Lava Palaver has been completed. 
Bye, Swampy. In 42 seconds. Nice job, Swampy. Alright, there we go. We only have six levels left to speedrun. We've got the laboratory, which actually has some really tough speedruns to do. Disco Lab in particular. Actually genuinely hard to beat Cars speedrun. And then the Halloween areas, uh, those are also very fun to speedrun, but also pretty tough. So that's going to be fun. We're going to have to save those for next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you tune in for the next episode. At the very least, there's going to be some interesting speedruns to be had. So look forward to that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.